Hello, how are you doing today? I am happy and excited to share the word for today with you. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing great. My name is Anita Brown, in case you're coming across my channel for the first time. Okay, it's time for our word for today. Courtesy of UCB. Our talk today is 21st of October, Monday, 2024. Our topic today says, when God opens the door, part two. So we did part one yesterday. Now, and our Bible reading is taken from the book of 1 Corinthians 16, verse 9. Verse 9, it says, For a great door and effectual is opened unto me, and there are many adversaries. But we're going to win. Amen. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. The New Living Translation states Paul's words this way. There is a wide open door for a great work here although many oppose me. In doing the will of God, you should anticipate oppositions from those who are not privy to what God has shared with you or instructed you to do. Indeed, if you are accepted and applauded wherever you go, you should re-examine either the assignment you believe God has given you or the way in which you are carrying it out. Hmm. You say, but didn't Jesus say that his yoke was easy? Yes, and he was talking about a comfortable fixing yoke around the neck of a hard-working ox that plowed from morning until night. The work was hard, but the yoke was comfortable. That means when God calls you to do something difficult, he will provide you with the grace and resources to do it. You say, but Satan is attacking me. Attack is a sign of respect. It means you represent a threat to the kingdom of darkness. And as you get closer to God-given goal, expect Satan's attack to intensify. Hmm. But there is a good news. The intensity of the attack is an indicator of the blessings God has for you on the other side of the attack. And one more thought. Your greatest reward will not come in this life but in the life to come. And that's good because they won't just be temporal, they will be internal. The hymn is wrote, to him that overcometh a crown of life shall be he with the king of glory shall reign internally. Amen. When God opens the door. Wow. God had so many attacks. Oh, he had so many temptations, a lot of things, you know, that he went through in this world. But he never gave up. Okay? He never gave up. He knew that for you to become a child of God, you are a light unto the nation. The devil doesn't like that because he knows that light and darkness has nothing in common. But he wouldn't stop. He will stop and nothing to try to frustrate you. But know who you are in Christ. Because we've been told here that if any way you're going to preach the word and everybody's applauding you, that means something is wrong. <laughs> you need to actually go back and, you know, look at the assignment that you think that God has given you. Or you actually need to re-examine yourself. Because it wasn't easy for Jesus when he was here. Okay? But the most important thing is that he came out victorious. So, God has opened a great and effective door that no man can shut in your life. Even though there are many adversaries there, you're still going to come out victorious. Okay? Amen. What else are we going to add to it? I don't think we have more to add to it. That is it for today. I want to thank you so much for listening. And don't forget that this is an excerpt from what for today. And we are reading the Bible for the whole year. Can you refer back to my previous videos? You're going to see the chapters we've read. But for today, we are reading Jeremiah chapter 34, 35, 36, and 2 Timothy chapter 3. God bless you. I love you. But God loves you most. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.